Hey, curl friends. So today we're doing a wash and go. <laughs> and I'm like extremely nervous about this. This might all crash and burn. We're gonna try it anyways. <laughs> One of my YouTube hair crushes, Kimberly Sherelle. She has low porosity hair, and I want to say like 4A, B hair. So we have pretty similar hair. She has so many wash and go videos, y'all. Videos, you know, with different products, how the product combination works, that's important to a wash and go, uh, different methods, all this stuff. So I was watching one of her videos, and she recommended doing three months of a wash and go, and I was like, we know that wash and goes can cause single strand knots. But the thing is, I've been natural for five years and I've only done a wash and go two times ever. I really liked her reasoning behind like why it's important to do wash and goes. Three months straight wash and goes, like every four days, will really learn about your curl pattern, how your hair curls. Uh, it'll really help with moisture retention and moisture training your hair. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. So, you know, it's now summertime, so I figured this is the perfect time to do it. Miel Organics was having another sale, so I went and bought their pomegranate and honey line. I don't know where this product junkiness is coming from. Anyways, I think the products, they were like maybe $8 each. It came with a shampoo which is sulfate free, a conditioner. I'm gonna use this as a deep conditioner. Leave-in conditioner. And then I have this coil sculpting custard. Y'all see this? I'm also going to use some extreme wet line gel. I'm gonna do this quick little like, see how these products mix. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this coiling custard and they mix really nicely. If you're using some type of like curling cream, um, you might see that with the gel, it like flakes or it doesn't mix well. This literally looks like one product. I'm gonna go wash my hair and then I'll come back to y'all when I start styling. So we are ready. And y'all like this, um, this Miel pomegranate and honey line. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't do it. This line is so nice. The uh, shampoo, I didn't have to use a lot. The conditioner was like a little went a, lo a long way. The leave-in conditioner was like, it was very like water-like and I loved it. And it smells so good. It's really important that your hair is completely like wet. So I just have some warm water that I'm gonna spritz on my hair. Then I'm gonna go in with the curling custard and then follow up with some gel. And let's see how this goes. Ooh. Okay, Miel, I see you. Ooh. My friend Carlea, she recommended just like sectioning my hair in four, and then each of those sections sectioning in half, so that there's a total of eight sections. maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Probably pin this here and make sure my hair lays how I want it to. Don't know where my blow dryer is. Okay, so I've been drying for eight hours and it's mostly dry. You can definitely see how it shrunk. I am like more than satisfied with this. I know it looks crazy, but this is how I sleep every night now. My parents bought me satin pillowcases for my birthday. I don't bother with a bonnet anymore. I might work to put a scarf on it and to pineapple it up, right? So I'll check in with you in like 10 hours. It came out pretty good this morning. I just like took my hair tie off before I got in the shower and then I let the steam in the shower just like kind of help loosen it up. This is just some 100% sweet almond oil. Like, 
on the top layer a little bit of crunchiness from the gel. I think this oil will kind of help break that cast. And there we have it, my first successful wash and go. I'm gonna do this for three months and I'm really excited about the results I'll see. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Thank you.